Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to Out of Box Collector where we unbox and review different kinds of collectibles. So today I have another band presto figure to review for you guys. This is from the My Hero Academia Heroes Rising movie. But I haven't seen the movie yet so I actually don't know what they look like. But uh, anyway, this is the Deco figure. It also comes with the Villain 9. So as you can see, the covers actually match together. And it looks really awesome. But for today, I'll be reviewing deck first, then I'll be reviewing the Hero 9. But I actually don't know who he is yet and what he looks like in the movie. So I won't be able to compare that. But maybe I'll do a follow-up video after I watch the movie when the Blu-ray comes out. So let's see what Deku looks like first. So let's unbox the figure. So this is Deku. Comes from the Heroes Rising movie. So you can see the logo there. And a Band Presto logo and Bandai logo. Uh, just for a quick comparison of the box, it's a little bit bigger than your regular Age of Heroes and other uh, figure. It's as big as the, I think, King of Artist line, but I don't have the box of the King of Artist here near me. So anyway, uh, this is the front. It shows Deku uh, and his uh, attacking aggressive pose. So can we open it? So this is the back. It shows the Hero 9 there. Uh, it comes in a set. So that's the Hero 9. So this is Deku. A uh, closer look at the full figure. This is the back. It shows another photo of the two. Uh, this is top. It has the security seal and it comes with the awesome Heroes Rising logo on top. And this is the bottom. So just for a quick comparison this is what it looks like together with the hero 9 and i really love the box art of this one so if you're one of those guys who displays their figure and doesn't open their figures and you just want to show it off on your shelf with a box it's going to look great but i highly suggest opening your figures all the time because what if the figure doesn't have a head or something you won't be able to bring it back to the store so anyway let's open the figure So this is what we get from the box. So let's put him all together. First, we have to put the mask and then the head of Deku. Let's see. There you go. Okay, there we go. And um, first, there's the base. Let's put them. Up, put it on the back. And uh, in. Actually, I thought that this figure would be bigger. And there are two effects for the hand. So, as you can see, uh, it it actually has this uh, thing uh, similar to the Gundam figures by Bandai. So, I highly recommend using one of these tools. Uh, this is what I use for your assembling. A Gundam figure so this is just an entry level nipper so let's cut it off so all you have to do is cut that one you can also use a uh, exacto knife or scissors but I, I just want to use my nippers for this one so we'll get a clean cut so just cut it there and another one here and let's clean that off a little bit so Go. We can clean that up with a little bit of sandpaper, but anyway, we don't need that as at the moment. So let's cut the second one. So all you have to do is cut it there, cut it there. Okay, so it says A and B. Okay, so there are there's this quick instructions on the flap of the box so you just have to uh, follow it correctly so this piece right here is the B so it should go on the back here I remove uh, the head of Deku first so it's not going to interfere with the installation of the effect so anyway all you have to do is uh, align the effects here like so so you can see 
that there is a hole underneath his arm. Let me see if I can focus on that. There you go. And then there's one on top. And then the Apex actually has this special looking pegs. And you can actually see which peg should go where. And light it like so. Let's put it like that. Oh, there you go. And then the other piece here. So it just slides in very easily. So there you go. There's the first one. It should, and this is the other one. It should go to there. There's the hole for that. This one here. Let's see, there. Go on like this. You just have to put that in like that. And then the other one here. Just secure it like so. There you go. Pinch it a little bit. And there you have it. There's the effects on the hand. And then now let's put on the mask. So just a quick uh way of putting him just hold on to the mask first and make sure that this this part of his neck goes fully in to the hole so his head won't fall off so as you can see there there you go and then just put it tightly like that or else his head would actually fall off anyway there's the mask so it should look like that and there's the figure so so far it looks nice and let's take a closer look at the figure so here's deku and uh, i was actually expecting this figure to be bigger due to the box but anyway it's a great looking figure so far even if it's a bit small let's measure it first so you'll have an idea on how tall he is so the figure stands at around eight and a half inches from the base of the head. But considering uh, the size of the figure, uh, the figure itself is not that big. But he's on a jumping action pose. So he's quite tall because of the stand. It's an impressive figure. And uh, let's take a closer look at the head. Okay. The head looks really good. I love the facial expression that they gave Deku on this one. I'm not sure why he has a patch on his cheek. Like I said, I haven't watched the movie yet. So guys, no spoilers on the comment section, please. And uh, the mask looks really good. It's in a metallic uh, paint. And the eyes are painted well. I love the hair of Deku on this one. It's actually gradient. So you can see the darker greens going to the lighter greens on top. And the sculpt of this figure looks really good. As you can see, the costume there. You can even see the folds and creases on his costume. His gloves are actually quite nice. It's a, an upgraded version of his suit. So this is his mask. It's uh, behind. He's not wearing it. And uh, this is his boots. Um, this is the modified upgraded version of his boots. So he can actually uh, kick harder. So... You can see that his costume uh, consists of hmm, three color tones. There's a darker blue-green and his regular blue-green colored suit and some shadows on it to give it more depth. So it's a, really, a well-painted figure. The gold parts on his gloves looks really nice. Look at that. And the effects, of course, it gives this uh, extra details on it and it looks really good. I wish that they'd done this on the other figures of Deku or maybe Bakugo or something, the action post one. So a comparison, this is the Age of Heroes uh, line Deku. So side by side, of course, he looks taller. But when you take a look at the scale, they scale uh, very closely. But I think this one is a bit bigger than the Age of Heroes one just based on the face and the hand alone. Look at that. So yeah, that's what he looks like. Overall, this is a great looking statue of Deku. Uh, I really love the effects on his hand. It's a really well painted uh, figure. 
You can also see a lot of details on his suit and it looks amazing. So next time I'll be comparing him uh, together with the villain 9. And uh, yeah, if you like My Hero Academia, especially if you watch the movie uh, Heroes Rising, I'm sure that you're going to love this figure. I hope Banpesto creates more figure with those effects. That's it for this video. So, what do you think of the new My Hero Academia Heroes Rising figure? And uh, let me know at the comment section below. I want to thank Mainstream Manila for this figure. I got this from them. Thank you very much, Mainstream Manila. I'll put the link down in the description box below on how you can get this fantastic figure. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook and of course our website www.outofboxcollector.com I'm David once again, stay safe and always remember to unbox your toys!